What up? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to react to a video about AOC. I guess she has a fraudulent marriage. Is that right, Christy? So that's what's being said. So according to um, according to her office, they say no, she's not. But her legal filings in Congress say otherwise. Wow. Well, let's check it out, y'all. Another Benny Johnson video. If I can get over here. Boom. You can't resist us, Mr. Powers. You can't resist us, Mr. Powers. Au contraire, baby. I think you can't resist me. <laughs> oh. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. We have breaking news for you. AOC is officially single. That's right. What? And we have video evidence of the moment that her relationship broke down. Please watch. Favorite big booty Latina. I love you, AOC. You're my favorite. She went to kill babies, but she's still beautiful. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Look at that booty on AOC. That's my favorite big booty Latina. Punch little selfie. I love it. My favorite, AOC. Nice to meet you, AOC. Look how sexy she looks in that dress. He's all right. Ooh, I love it, hard, AOC. Hot, 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 like a tamale. Hard to believe that that clip is real. Hard to believe that AOC's response is real. Big Look at that big, juicy booty. <laughs> okay, it's obvious. You might say, Benny, I've seen that video before, and the man actually walking with AOC, not doing anything to protect AOC, wow. is allegedly her husband. Then hey, Christy, real quick, uh, I did a I did a post, right? I, I said something about watching the uh, documentary about AOC, how she won her spot and all that. And I said, man, this woman's pretty smart. You know, they make fun of her that she's dumb, but she's cunning. A lot of Democrats are not, are, are they're not that dumb. They, they might play dumb or you might think they're dumb or they make memes like this. These guys are joking about it. You know, uh, I saw the video on her. It, it was on Netflix, I believe, a long time ago. People were mad at me. I was watching Netflix and I watched something about her. But I wanted to learn about her a little bit. And she had a good campaign. In her area, you know, and she won it. And her, her dude, yeah, he might look like a beta, whatever, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, this woman's not as dumb as people think they are. Go ahead, sis. Look at me. I voted for Obama once. All right, let's continue. <laughs> this ginger, <laughs> doughy looking Pillsbury doughboy with the goofy feet wearing the Birkenstocks as AOC drinks away her day, drinks away her troubles. Wow. This man is apparently AOC's husband. In, in fact, they have lots of videos together, right? Like, they have videos about his feet together. We recently went to Florida, um, where Republicans developed an obsession with Riley's feet, so. <laughs> Give the people what they want. Okay, well, AOC, man, dating those big, doughy, grimace white guys. Mr. Riley, of course, doing his part. AOC puts him on her Instagram in order to talk about how racist he is as a white person. AOC boyfriend wow. talk about combating racism as a white person on her Instagram stories. It's amazing this relationship didn't work out. It's been helpful to you in combating racism. Uh, I think it's helpful and important to talk to like other this. white people about <laughs> racism. And I think a lot of people, they don't want to be racist. They don't think that they're racist, oh, yeah. but they also don't know some of the things that they believe or say are and can be racist. Christian, how do you combat racism? Let us know you're a white woman. Whatever I say is what I mean. Um, huh. I don't, I don't get yeah, I, it's. I mean, it's. It's just the truth. I am who I am. I haven't ever seen racism in my face except for the trolls that we have on Instagram that hide BLM profile pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, BLM things like that, but never face to face. Well, I take that back. I did have. I did have one instance of a pretty bad racist, um, interaction with with some people that that were from the BLM group, but, but literally where I grew up, you know, we believe what we believe. We didn't need to even publicly speak on what we believed. Right. And, and, you know, for the Obamas and for the liberals that keep bringing up this race card and every single thing, just so sick of it. So sick of it. But whenever we delve more into her marriage, I want to tell you a few things about, about, um, how cunning she really is okay. and the reason that she's probably trying to hide this this relationship and what it really is. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so hey Riley, uh first off, um dude, you should change your name. Second off, why did uh AOC date a white guy? Is she racist? What about Ilhan Omar? She's dating a white guy. Is she racist? What about Kamala Harris? She's dating a white guy. Is she racist? 
Why are all the squad members dating white guys? Good point. What do they got? What do you got? Nothing? Nothing, Riley? Hmm, interesting. Well, apparently Riley does have nothing because AOC is saying she's not married. Is AOC married? Her office says no, she's not married. But she identified Riley Roberts as her spouse in four filings with the House House Ethics Committee in 2023. Is that legal? Committee has strict definitions of spouse, somebody of whom you are legally married to. Wait a second, are they married? That's what I want to talk about. This is totally weird. Check this out. Findings suggest AOC is married? Her office says no. That's a House Ethics issue. Uh, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez... Her office says that she has never been married. But according to a new report from the Washington Free Bacon, she identifies her fiancé as her spouse on several forms with the House Ethics Committee. In the detailed mm. forms, apparently, uh, the congresswoman's official travel in 2022-2023 were submitted to the committee. The reason why this is important is because you can write off uh, the expenditures, right, for your spouse uh, and traveling. Wow. There's a lot of travel that you have to do as a member of Congress. Tax fraud. So apparently, she's committing some sort of fraud here. <laughs> If AOC is indeed married, her spouse's finances are now subject to public disclosure. What the She did not hell? disclose any of Robert's reportable stock holdings, assets, or incomes in her latest financial disclosure. Uh, if the pair are not married, then Robert's cannot be named her spouse, the official travel forms. And if they are, then Robert's must disclose all of his finances. The congresswoman's office told the Free Beacon that Ocasio-Cortez and Roberts have never been legally married. Spokesperson appeared to brush the criticism aside, claiming that the House ethics are commonly recognized as a term spouse to extend to longer-term partners. Huh? According to the report, that is not true. How the ethics committee defines marriage is specifically, wow. specifically somebody who, with whom you are legally married. According to the Free Beacon's report, uh, this could be like a, a major problem for AOC. She may find herself once more under ethics investigation. The last time she was under ethics investigation was, of course, for this hilarity. Look at all of the uh, look at all the masked look at all the masked slaves and servants uh, in this shot serving AOC's every whim. Every one of them having to wear a mask as they apply makeup and fingernails to AOC and crown her and bejewel her in her dress, custom dress. Apparently, AOC got all this stuff. Had They had to, like, file lawsuits against AOC to pay for the makeup artist because AOC refused to pay. And then AOC did not disclose all of this stuff as gifts. Again, a massive violation of the the congressional ethics. So AOC is not declaring gifts. She's now under congressional investigation. Rules for thee and not for me. <laughs> AOC denies being married despite listing her fiance as her spouse in disclosures. This is starting to ping pong ball around. What is going on? Is she on the rocks? Lawmakers who have made willful misrepresentations on filings are subject to civil penalties as much as $50,000 from the House Ethics Committee and could face five years in prison. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not her, though. Now, we do have other uh, potential reasons to believe that uh, AOC's relationship is on the rocks. AOC is... Uh, Obsessed with Elon Musk. Uh, AOC ha- released this didn't know that. video uh, eating chicken fingers and talking about uh, how obsessed she is with the world's richest man. Any event in the Bronx and Co-op City. And when I get home, I see a text from my team saying, hey, let me know if you need any help with this Elon stuff. And I was like, what? So I pulled up my Twitter app and it's like gone. Like when you pull up your mentions and stuff like that, it's just like literally like a blank screen. Totally gone. Good. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. So it turns out we got under a certain little billionaire skin. <laughs> or maybe he wants to get under your skin. <laughs> Elon Musk responded to that tweet saying, what can I say? It was a naked abuse of power. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, please. Young love. Young requited love. Uh, okay. Well, looks like AOC has found herself once more in a massive ethics investigation. She's already, Scandal. again, under investigation for not disclosing $30,000 uh, at least of goodies and free gifts going to the Met Gala. Uh, again, being surrounded by servants, masked servants, uh, getting all of these little royalties and tickets and dress. Yeah. She had the people who did her hair and makeup. They had to sue her. Wow. Remember, AOC is there. AOC is there. She has this. She's there. Tax the rich. In Congress. <laughs> Because she's a communist who's supposed to be standing up for the little people. AOC has never once visited East Palestine. AOC didn't go to Maui. AOC hasn't said anything about the little people that helped her on this night. In fact, she tried to rob them. She tried to stiff them out of the payments that she owed them. They had to sue her. They had to like, threaten legal action to get her to pay. All these people are frauds. All these people are just utter yep. frauds. Hypocrites. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know. Alex Stein might be the, uh, Alex Stein may be the, uh, the hardest hit. If it turns out that AOC is, in fact, actually married, I don't know. It's kind of creepy. It's a little weird. Like, what like what relationship then do you have? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what the old ethics investigation does. Uh, we will say this, though. My my favorite takedown of AOC 
was, of course, Tucker, vintage Tucker Carlson back in the day. It's a good idea to turn your political party, which I think is the oldest political party in the English speaking world, over to someone who just turned 30, has never had a real job, has never had children, has never even been married, has never actually done anything. Should that person <laughs> be the person right. who outlines your entire agenda? Is that a good idea, do you think? It, <laughs> I think it's a horrible idea. Oh, okay, a horrible idea. Okay. But, I'm just gonna yeah. kind of... So, so it's not hard to tell. Me and my wife, sis, our family kind of got mad because we went down to down the courthouse and, and we tied the knot one day. Either you're married or you're not married. Point one. Second point is these people are hypocrites. The rich mm -hmm. that they claim to want to tax and hate, that's them. That's them. So I don't know if she's going to get in trouble. This is breaking news. It's breaking news to me. I thought she was married to this effeminate beta. I don't know. Your thoughts, sis? Go ahead. He kind of hit on everything that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it is um, a no-no that she has misrepresented that in some filings that it was her boyfriend and in other filings that was her spouse. Wow. Uh, she ha she can be subject to criminal prosecution. And if she has lied to the ethics committee, then absolutely, I think that she should get that. But, you know, what it says, you know, what I've read about it is that um, she's claiming that she's been married since January 13th, 2023, which is this year. And if that is the case, then it's called the they call them squad members. So like kind of like the honorage that 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 goes with these different people to different events and things like that can no longer leverage the so-called boyfriend loophole to evade public public disclosure of his oh finances. God. And so um either way, she's lied because she told she told one group of people this the other group of people that and she filed and she filed with you know with, with whatever organization she's in the the, uh, the house whatever right she filed legal paperwork st stating that's her spouse house ethic committees yeah, yeah. 223 um wow and they have a strict definition that says in quotes to someone to whom you are legally married um you see what she said though she said oh she said uh Identify, <laughs> identify him as my spouse. Anyways, go ahead. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go with identifications. Um, but yeah, uh, she, either way, I mean, she she's a bold faced liar. It's been proven, and I just think I think it's sad if she did it for the financial loopholes. I think that pretty sure she did. I mean, don't look at what look at what the left's doing with financial loopholes. But yeah, yeah, everything that I really wanted to say, he kind of hit on it. It it looks like that she did this trying to be um, trying to be slick. Slick. And, I was gonna say the same thing. Yep. Got busted. Yep, and it yep. Got busted. Got caught up quick. Well, there it is, y'all. Uh, quick reaction to Benny Johnson's video. I think he's he's all right. Uh, I know a lot of liberals uh, can't stand him. His sense of humor and all that, y'all. He's you know he's kind of uh, I'm not gonna say cringy, but he's a, he's an interesting character and he's pretty popping on uh, social media. And uh, we'll be doing more reaction videos to his content, others, y'all. But again, let us know in the comments what you think. We already kind of know that she's not going to get in trouble. But how cunning and smart is she? I even think that the glasses and the whole, you know, the way she presents herself, I think that's kind of, um, what's the word here? Kind of deceiving. I think this woman is was made to look a certain way and she acts a certain way. But I think, like most people, you don't really know who they are behind that camera or behind that persona or that image or facade they try to give to everybody else. With that, y'all, you're an American. You're a patriot. You got grit. Act like we're out.